All right, welcome back everyone. It is Koga, and today we're gonna go over some tips that can benefit your FPS and bring it from, well, for me at least, it was from going around 50 in a game to going around 90 to 100 in the game, which for me is really beneficial with my specs. Not the greatest, but they made the game a lot better for me and latency also. So today we're going to be going over some latency tips and tricks and also some FPS tips and tricks. And it's going to be a pretty short video, so it's not going to take 30 minutes or 20 minutes of your day. So make sure to stick around for the whole video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to play in direct 612. And for that, it's a really simple command. It's just going right clicking the hell loose on your Steam and going into properties. And in the launch options, you type in this command right here. This command will also be in the description under this video. It is just basically DX12, use all available cores, and that's it. And then you can just press X. You don't have to press apply anywhere. It will apply as you, you know, as you launch your game. The next ones, I'm sure you guys have heard of them. Um, one of them is called game mode, and you can play with that, turn it on or turn it off. I usually turn it on because Windows 11 and Windows in general have been, not have been, but they have, get, they have gotten really good over the last a few updates on them. And Xbox Game Bar, you want to turn that off because, well, it just takes up unreasonable space um, and just kind of slows down your game. Not a lot, but you want to get as much performance as possible in it. Um, for the next one, what you want to do is you want to probably take in your NVIDIA control panel. And if you don't have this downloaded yet, make sure you download it. And you want to go ahead and open it. Just like so, you have the whole control panel. Make sure you guys are, if you have your change resolution, make sure the main monitor for me is the GS27QX. Make sure you guys have on the highest resolution and on the highest refresh rate, because if you're playing on 60 hertz, that might be a pretty bad case for you. And then make sure you guys hit apply. But that's not what we're here for. Um, we are here for to basically, uh, you can also adjust color settings. This is my color settings for Hello Loose. You know, just a quick copy for you guys. <laughs> and uh, if you guys come into manage 3D settings right here, I didn't really change much. I know a lot of people say change a lot of the stuff, but I don't really want to play around with that. The only thing that I do agree with a lot of creators is to change the... Um, Where is it? Texture, filtering quality, and you want to put this on a high performance. Um, basically, because if you have a low end PC to a mid tier PC and you get around, I don't know, 60 to 90 FPS, which is not the greatest, you want to change this to high performance. And that's about it for everything you need to change on here. And then you would just have this apply button right here, which will apply it. It does like a weird thing, but don't worry, it's just applying it. And then you can just go ahead and exit it just by pressing X. I'm going to apply. Would you like to apply these changes now? Um, yes, I didn't change anything. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> After that, um, what you want to do is you want to turn off control flow guard. What is flow guard? It is a basically an exploit protection system that has that on your whole system. That basically prevents you from getting hacked, exploited into stuff like that. And why am I saying turn it off? I'm not saying to turn off the whole entire system. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna turn it off for your head let loose. And what that does is it basically reduces your latency. So, you know, we can kill enemies faster than they, than, blah, 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 than they can kill us. So what you want to do is you want to go in here and you want to type in exploit protection. And you just want to click on this. It will just open up and look exactly like this. And then you want to click right here to program settings. And then you would want to go to add program to customize, uh, choose an exact path. And then I will have a path on the screen, but the path is going to be uh, where you have the game downloaded, which is going to be the C drive most likely. And then you want to go to program uh, files x86. 
then to Steam, then to Steam Apps, then to Comment, then Hello Loose, then Hello Loose again. Binary is 164. And then when you get here, you just want to double click this or click it once to open it. And then a smaller window like this will pop up with all your settings, basically. And you want to scroll down until you see Control Flow Guard. And as you can see, you just tack this little thing like that. Boom. And then you turn it from on to off. And then you press apply. And then it says changes will require to restart your Hello Loose 164 shipping.exe. I recommend not having it open. Um, once we do all these settings. And then once you set the window security, you just press yes. And then you're good to go. After that, um, we have one more thing to do. And that is do the NVIDIA. So you want to have the NVIDIA app downloaded where you can just literally go into the uh, your preferred browser and search up the NVIDIA app. And then you can download it from there. Pretty easy to download. You don't have to log in if you don't want to. I personally do not log in because it doesn't require me to you know, change any of this, stuff like that. So what you want to do, obviously, is just update your drivers all the time. And for this sake, I didn't have the driver downloaded, so I will actually download it. I didn't actually know there's a driver. So make sure you're checking this. I think you can put a notification somehow on your on your like computer that sends the NVIDIA app like email or something to you saying there's a new driver, but I personally don't do that. I just check this application once a month or maybe once in two months. And if there's a new driver, I just set the download and then I put basic download and that's about it. So make sure you are downloading the drivers. Either way, if these don't apply to you, like the 50 series do not apply to me because I have a 3060 Ti, it's always good to be up to date. And then you can also just go ahead and press uh, close. Okay, so now we're getting into the game settings of Hello Loose. So after you've launched your game in DirectX 12 and you have done all the other options, also, if you guys do not want to do any of the other options and you just feel like, you know, that might fuck up your PC, you can play around with it. Uh, just letting you guys know that every single option that we do today and every single fix and fix that we do to your computer or tweak is reversible. So meaning you can go back at it look through the video where we found it at first, and you could just change it to the default setting or change it to your liking. But I will see you guys when we have the Hello Loose setting. So while Hello Loose is loading up, we can also actually, if you guys want to, I can just create a quick video tutorial for it where I can show you guys how to delete the movies not delete the movies, but as you can see, we're going to have this Unreal Engine. Look at this hella loose movie, all that stuff. But you can just skip it also by just pressing your mouse button. And then just gives you this optimal warning. And then you press this. But if you don't want to watch that movie, you just want to get straight to this dude. You can obviously just delete that from one of the folders. And I can just make that into a short video as well if you guys want me to. Just let me know. Okay, once you guys are in the screen, what you want to do is uh, you want to copy every single setting that I have here. Obviously, the FOV is your own thing. But the FOV also depends on your FPS. So the FOV also has a really big hit on your FPS. So I play on around 85 FOV, but it's not that much. It's not that much of a hit. Then for a better uh, FPS and kind of like, what should I call it? Um, better game performance. You want to put Gore disabled on and play around with that. And then. Um, I mean, you can change, you can copy my settings, but everything else here I don't really change except the this one right here, which is a map icon scale, meaning that everything on the map is a lot bigger for me. This doesn't really matter. I mean, you guys can copy this if you want to. Okay, video settings most important. So right here, as you can see, I do not play in full screen because when you're in Rex 12, you want to play in Windows full screen. And then uh, brightness doesn't really matter. That's just up to you. And you want to play everything else in um, custom here, but I would even change it just to low. You want to put the clarity TTA to community TAA. And then all you want to do is you want to do the view distance on high. You want to put this on the lowest, so it's the medium here. And you want to put the anti aliasing quality also on high. That is all you need to do and then you can just go ahead and press apply and then it will define you the best settings and the best fps 
And therefore, you guys have the best tips that helped me go from 50 FPS to about 120 FPS. And I'm sure other characters can also help you out with that. If you guys do have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Like the video, join the Discord, or so you, if you guys do comment below, and sometimes I don't, might not answer, if you do reach out to me on Discord, you will. It's a lot more likely you will get a reply a lot faster on Discord than in my YouTube comments. So I'm gonna also leave the, my Discord in the description. And yeah, guys, thank you guys everyone for watching. Hopefully, these tips and tricks to help you out and boost the maximum performance in your game. And I hope you guys have a great day. See you boys next one. Peace.